how to repeat the header when you need to print a ship here in Excel. So let's say this first sheet right here, I have the header just here above. But if I change the page, let's say page two, let me just click here in the next page. As you guys can see, I lost the reference of the header. So how can I keep the header for all the pages that I have? The first thing that you need to, to do is to have a header that you want to repeat. And here I'm going to do something different. Let me add a couple of more rows. Let's say I'm going to click in the, in the first row, number one, right click, insert one more time, right click, insert. Here in the first cell, I want to add the title of this sheet. And then I want to not repeat the title. Let's say the title is going to be 2024 sales report. Okay, so this is the title of my spreadsheet. Let me increase a little bit the size of the font, put everything here in bold. And yeah, that's it. When I press here, Control P, that is the shortcut key to open the, the print page here in Excel. As you can see, I have the title of the sheet and also the header of the, the data set that I have. But again, if I change the page, two, three, four, five, and on and on, I lost both of those references. To keep with those references, I just want to keep the headers, the, the title, I just want to appear once in the first page, and then the header, the blue one, I want to repeat for all the, the other pages. I'm going to do something here, that is, click in the page layout, and I'm going to choose this option right here, print titles, and here I can select rows to repeat at top. I'm going to click here in this upper arrow, and then I'm going to choose the row that I want to repeat. So let's say you want to repeat from the, the first row to the third one. You can select all those three different rows. First, second, and third one. Well, here I just want to keep up with the third row, row number three. And then I'm going to click in this down arrow. I'm going to click here, OK, and we're done. If I press again, Ctrl P, as you guys can see, as the first page, everything is correct. We have the title of the sheet and also the header, the blue header. But if I change here the sheet to the second one, as you guys can see, now the headers keep up with the second page and also with the third one, the fourth one and on and on. Now I have the same header for all the different pages and that's it. So this is how we can repeat a header in Excel for all the different pages that you have. And maybe the last adjustment that we can make here, as you guys can see, my data set goes all the way from order date to payment. But if I press Ctrl P, as you guys can see here, the last column that I have is delivery days. So maybe there is a couple of columns that are being missing here. And to bring back those columns, maybe I can click here, no scaling, and select the second to last option, fit all columns on one page. Click here. As you guys can see, now I have a more correct fitment in this printable page. And with all the pages done, I can click here and select the printer that I want to use or also to save as PDF. And then I can click print and that's it. So this is how we can repeat the headers and also the title in an Excel sheet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below. And I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.